Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the energies between you and the person that you have been dealing with or will be dealing with in the future. We're also going to look at where your connection is headed. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Aries watching. So just take what applies to you, what applies to your situation. And let's jump right in. Four Aries, Spirit Angel Guides. What does Aries need to know regarding love, regarding the person they're thinking about, connecting with at this time? What do we need to know regarding these energies between Aries and this person? For Aries. Can you give us some insight, clarity for Aries? We have the Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands. On your side, we have Strength, Leo Energy, and the Four of Pentacles. On their side, we have the Page of Wands. I'm trying this new tarot cloth out. Let me know if you think it's too distracting. Two of Wands for them. Interesting. And then for the future energies, I'll put these down here. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Wheel of Fortune. Awesome. Changes happening here, changes taking place. Let me move these down. So, what I see is that something's definitely starting. Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands here, and the uh, main energies. These are the energies between you and this person. They also have a lot of fire energy over there. You have Leo over here with the Strength card. So, there's a lot of energies here with about like passion action creativity adventure especially with the ace of wands page of wands i feel like there's something beginning and i think it involves you because there's the queen of wands aries leo sagittarius energy and the wheel of fortune is kind of telling me that there's something different happening something new events are in motion events are setting things um you know to be different in the future Let's get some insight also with the energies here. Spirit, tell me about the energies for Aries regarding love, regarding this connection. What do we need to know for Aries? Happy ending. Well, we love that. What else do we need to know about the energies for Aries? Standing firm, defense, resistance, courage, standing firm against any challenge. What else for Aries? What else do we need to know? I got two. Sweet dreams and mirrored souls. Awesome. Okay. Um, ooh. I was just going to show you the bottom of the deck is walking away. Okay. So I see a little bit of like with the standing firm card, I'm instantly thinking that there is a challenge, which does not surprise me because of the um, energies that we've gotten in other readings for you, Aries. But I think that things are working out or are kind of being set up to have some sort of major shift here because of this Wheel of Fortune. Page of Wands, Two of Wands on your person's side tell me that they're thinking about action in some way. They're thinking about the action they would take, the choice they would make, Two of Wands. And I feel like on your side, you're kind of just holding on to this connection. So let's first focus on what's going on here between you and you and this person. The energies between you. So the inside please for Aries. I think one of you walked away from the other in the past or have had to walk away from something in the present to be able to have this happy ending. Let's see what we get here. Tell me about this wheel of fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? For Aries. For Aries. Yeah, the Six of Swords. Someone's walking away. And I think this happens, uh, it is happening now. But I also get the sense that if someone walked away in the past, they are returning with the wheel. Because um, it's almost like I feel like the wheel keeps spinning, right? The wheel keeps turning. And so it kind of 
brings you back to the same place sometimes. Um, but the Six of Swords is all about leaving the past behind. The Emperor is at the bottom of the deck here. There you are, Aries. So I feel like when I see these two energies together, I think something's changing because someone is returning. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. And I think that this is something that will bring about happiness, joy, fulfillment with this happy ending energy. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. What do we need to know about this Queen of Wands? Three of Pentacles. And then this Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I Yeah, Four of Pentacles. So something happened between you and this person, Aries. And I feel like you've held on to this person, maybe due to your feelings for them. Maybe it was a bad ending or an ending without closure. Um, but I feel like... Um, you know, you and this person, because I'm feeling it for them as well. It's like there's still love here, despite whatever happened. Someone's wanting to work on things, work together, build. I'm also getting that for some of you, there was a third party. But there has been an ending if there was a third party. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. What do I need to know? What do I need to know about this Ace of Wands? Wow, the sun, yeah. Wherever you're headed here with this Ace of Wands, this new beginning, it's going to be happy, joyful, good news. Everything that, you know, is a dream becoming reality like we have here with Sweet Dreams. I think someone's returning. Someone's returning to begin again. Or um, someone has that um, was in another situation, perhaps, has had to leave that situation in the present and it's setting things in motion. Let's get one more for this Wheel of Fortune. Spirit, can I get one more please for this Wheel of Fortune? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the Wheel of Fortune? Wow, the High Priestess. And then the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So when I have the High Priestess with a card like the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Swords, or a Page of Swords, I think of uh, a secret coming to light. I think of communication. I think of um, a secret revealed or someone revealing their feelings. And you've had this energy before in other readings. I think actually the last reading I did for you, Aries, in the title itself, it said Breaking the Silence. So... I think someone's breaking the silence and it's setting things in motion here. It's it's changing things for you and for this person. So let's jump into your energies here, the energies for you and this other person. I have you on the left here and your person on the right, but feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. All right, Spirit, can I get some insight into Aries and this other person? What do we need to know about Aries and this other person? Tell me about Aries. What do we need to know about Aries and the energies they're bringing to this connection? Tell me about Aries. Toil and labor. Okay. Change at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So Aries, you know, it's what I'm getting here with this toil and labor card. For a lot of you, I'm getting that this is what you're hoping someone is doing. You're hoping that someone is this Three of Pentacles, working on things, putting in effort, putting in time into creating some sort of change. This is what I'm picking up strongly for most of you. Um, others of you, maybe you've made changes in your own life and it has brought in change. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with, thinking about. What do we need to know? about this other person. What do we need to know about this other person? Wow, poverty. I keep getting this for like, every time I look at their energies, they're always like not doing well um, in all the readings that I've been doing. Um, yeah, this person's not doing well. Bad health at the bottom of the deck. So either they're suffering financially or perhaps there is um, a situation where they feel a sense of loss when it comes to you or whatever they walked away from. Because I feel like someone walked away from something here. Can I get some more insight? Ooh, almost dropped my deck. 
Can I get some more insight, please, on the energies between Aries and this person? Tell me about Aries. Tell me about Aries. What do we need to know about Aries? I love you unconditionally. So Aries, I feel like you still love this person despite what has happened. You still have feelings despite what, what has happened. Um, I feel like a lot of you have not been able to let this person go for whatever reason. Because I, I, I just, especially when I see strength and the four of pentacles together, I think of something that has a hold on you. I think of something that is being held on to. Um, something that is, you know, it's almost like, and we'll clarify that just to make sure, but that's just the initial energies I get. It's like someone's still holding on to something, wanting to hopefully control a situation, you know? bring something under submission because they want it to go their way tell me about the person that aries is dealing with what do we need to know what do we need to know about this person's spirit what do we need to know about this person i am grateful for the spiritual lesson so this person has learned a lesson wherever they've been whatever happened with you and them um, I feel like they have learned something profound. Bottom of the deck, I wonder if you are happy without me. Yeah, you're not together with this person because I feel like one of you walked away from the other in the past or have had to walk away from something now. And so that's why I feel like maybe your, your, your paths are leading to each other. But this person has not been doing well. You know, I wonder if you're happy without me. It's because they themselves are not happy without you, I feel. Okay, so let's get some insight into you and this person. Tell me about strength. Let's start with you here. Leo energy here with strength. What do we need to know about this strength card, Spirit? What do we need to know about this strength card? Wow, the devil, Capricorn energy. Yeah, and then there's judgment at the bottom of the deck. The devil with strength. Well, hmm. When I see these two, I'm going to be honest with you, Aries, because when I see these two cards together, I'm thinking of, you know, a bit of a control obsessive type of energy. I feel like a lot of you um, have been wanting something so badly with this person that I think it's it, it has like an... A hold there's an attachment here that has a hold on you I'm speaking to an Aries that has not been able to let go right um, they always come back here and they're tied here in a, in a sense you know I feel like this is someone that um, this is all they think about right for a small number of you I feel like you are kind of hoping that your person is leaving or making a judgment call about an unhealthy attachment i see that as well but more than anything i'm getting that first energy so i feel like the problem here you know and i just want to be clear because it's easy to kind of if there is a third party it's kind of easy to blame the fact that there is a third party as being the problem but that's really not the case most of the times in the readings that I do, it's not the fact that there is a third party. It's your person's behavior and actions because of the third party. At the end of the day, they still have the choice. They still have the power uh, to not be in that situation anymore, right? But the issue that I find is that a lot of them cannot um, make those decisions to break free because of guilt or fear or... Um, money you know but it's not that the third party itself is separating you both it's that your person has not addressed the interference does that make sense so i feel like you know i still get that that energy of you know it's almost like if if, if you're dealing with a third party as well and you're in that first group that you have not been able to let go you have not been able to let go all this time kind of waiting for there to be a release of a third party right because there's still that kind of like almost like a need here, a desire with the devil and the strength card. Tell me about the four of pentacles. And that's Capricorn energy, by the way, the devil. 
if I didn't mention that earlier. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this Four of Pentacles? Yeah, Four of Cups. I feel like a lot of you have not been open, really. Your heart cannot be open to anything else because you still are holding on to this person. Let me know if that's true in the comments um, because I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, this is the this is the energy. It's an energy of, I only want this. I only want that one person. I only want to be with them. They're my soulmate, et cetera, et cetera. So there is no, no um, opportunities for anything else, but also there's a discontent. You're not happy here. You have probably not been happy for a while because you don't have what you want. You don't have who you want. And so there's this feeling of, you know, holding on, but being kind of miserable at the same time. I think some of you check up on this person, Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck here. You probably observe them on social media or look them up every now and then. Maybe you see photos of them, um, text messages, old notes or letters. I feel like you always kind of have your view on them, in their direction. You're always looking in their direction, Aries. So let's see what's going on over here with your person. Tell me about the Page of Wands. This is about taking initiative. This is about taking the first steps towards something. Uh, the Page of Wands is willing to put themselves out there to take a little bit of risk. Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. Wow, the world at the bottom of the deck. I think your person's hoping for a new beginning that's more stable, long-term stability is on their mind, long-term success. Some of you, this person's leaving a marriage or a family um, because the world is here and the world's about endings and beginnings and tens are about completion. So I'm almost seeing this as, you know, some some sort of ten of pentacles energies being kind of closed to have a new beginning with the page of wands ace of wands let's get one more tell me about the page of wands can i get one more please what can you tell me about this page of wands what can you tell me about this page of wands Ace of Swords. And then there's the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person is coming to talk to you about whatever this is. Whatever initiative, whatever choice they've made. Because the Two of Wands is here. Let's see what this is about. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Why is the two of wands? This one. <laughs> Page of Wands. Okay, so confirmation. The choice to act, the choice to speak up. Let's see. Tell me one more. Why is the two of wands here? That's so funny. Why is the two of wands here? Seven of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. Yes. I feel like this person. Choosing a new direction. This is this is them choosing a new direction. I don't know who. The, yeah, I was gonna say I don't know who this Queen of Pentacles is, but it's not you. And there's the Eight of Cups after that. I feel like this is what they've left behind. They could have left a job. They've could have left a person. Um, some of you, there's something to do here with like a mother or a father. Um, I feel like your person had to leave some sort of stability. They walked away from some sort of stability. And I feel like this is happening now. This walking away is happening now. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Seven of Swords is about someone that does things away from people's eyes. You know, they're, they're doing things in the dark. They're doing things behind people's backs. So I feel like whatever this person has been choosing to do, planning to do with this Ace of Swords. Let's look at this Ace of Swords and this Page of Wands. It's almost like not a lot of people know about it. Oh my gosh, there was the Emperor there. 
so you don't know about it. <laughs> I feel like Aries, you're in the dark here. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? I feel like I can't pick a card yet. Five of Wands, Four of Pentacles there. Oh yeah, I feel like they're going to tell you about what has been happening. Whatever conflict, arguments, difficulty they have experienced. I think they're going to tell you like, hey, I haven't been happy for a while. It's always been you. I've always been thinking about you because they're holding on to you as well. Four of Pentacles is here with the King of Cups after that. So, you know, like, and it's an emotional holding on. I think they're going to contact you and it's almost going to be like they're, they shouldn't be talking to you. They shouldn't be contacting you. They shouldn't be reaching out to you, but they are. It, something feels wrong about the fact that they're contacting you in their eyes. I feel like they've already probably made this decision with the two of wands. They just haven't told anybody or that it hasn't been an official decision, but it's already been made internally. Does that make sense? So let's look at where all of this is headed. Okay, we have the nine of wands. The High Priestess and the Queen of Swords. So this this revealing of feelings with the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess, just like we had the Knight of Swords with the High Priestess here, this hasn't happened. This is this is what needs to happen. There needs to be a message, a conversation, a reaching out, a revealing. The High Priestess, the Queen of Swords. I'm also getting the energy of secretly talking to you, secretly communicating with you. Communicating with you when they shouldn't be. Some of you are dealing with a person that is not supposed to be talking to you and they're going to reach out anyway. And the Nine of Wands is almost telling me that, it is, you know, either they are coming out of a difficult situation, all beat up, wounded soldier, you know, someone that's been through a lot. Or you are not sure about what their intentions are because of the way they're coming towards you. We'll have to clarify that in the extended uh, because I am going to take this to the extended to look a little bit more about the outcome here. What do you need to know about this energy? But then I'm also going to jump into your person's energy. What are their real intentions towards you? What are they thinking or feeling specifically when it comes to you, this connection? That will be in the extended. So feel free to join us there. If you'd like Aries, the link will be in the description box. Otherwise, I'll leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If it resonated, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button, leave me a comment if you'd like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.